Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to User1 Productions, my name is David, and in today's tutorial we are going to be looking at a very simple pause menu system. As always my friends, everything you can find in this video can be found in the description down below on a Google Drive that I have shared with everybody. And also if you guys have found this video entertaining or useful in any sort of way, remember to drop me a like and subscribe if you're new, clicking that notification bell so you don't miss an upload by me. And also leave me a comment about any questions you may have or something you want to see in a future tutorial. Without further ado, let me show you the finished product and then I'll show you how I accomplished this. So here we are in our test scene that we have been making. And if I press escape, a little menu will pop up and it says the game is paused. We have a resume button and an exit button. Now the exit button doesn't work unless the game's actually built, meaning you would have to go file, build settings, add your scenes, and then test it out that way. But you won't have to test it out because I've already done that for you. So we can press escape and go into the pause menu, we can escape again and get out of it. And obviously the resume will do the same thing where it puts us back in the game. And to test out to see if this pause menu actually works, if we climb up this ladder, I can jump off real quick, pause mid-air, wait a couple seconds, because obviously if the pause menu wasn't working we'd be on the ground by now. We resume, and we were still falling as we resumed. Perfect. This system was very easy to create, so I'm just going to open up the script and show you what's going on in here. Up at the top here at the public class, we have a couple things that we could play around with. We have a couple game objects, including the menu, resume button, and quit button, as well as two bools to tell if it's on or off. In the start function, I have menu set active false. We have off the true and on to false because I don't want the menu to start as soon as the game is on. Heading down to void update, we say here if the menu is off and we press down the button pause that we need to create, then the time scale turns to zero so that way nothing can move within the game. This is where the menu would be put to true, off becomes false, and on becomes true. And then right here the else if statement is pretty much the complete opposite of this if statement. And then you'll notice we have a public void resume and a public void exit. The reason I created these two is because when we make a button, we need to add a function to the button inside the editor. By adding the functions, it'll be looking for a public void like resume or exit. I'll be showing you guys how to go about that, but pretty much if we press down on resume, it pretty much deactivates the menu just like it does up here if we press down escape and then exit will just application.quit we might update this exit button or even add just a main menu button so that way we can go back to a main menu instead of just closing out of the window completely and then later on down the line we'll be looking at how to save your game and stuff like that but for now this is the basics to a pause menu let's go back in the unity real quick so what i've gone ahead and done is inside the fps controller inside of hud create empty and i called it pause menu let me just check that real quick so you guys can see what's going on in here. Pretty much, our background, all I did was right click. Everything's going to be in this little UI button right down here. The background is a little texture I created, so that means I had to use raw image. We have the title text, and then resume and exit are both buttons. So instead of adding text, you want to right click on pause menu, UI, and add a button, okay? The button's going to default to that little thing right down there so let me show you the values I have inside resume I changed the width to 250 height to 100 and then by going into the scene view over here you can just adjust it the way you need to accordingly to how you want your menu set up very simple same thing with exit exit is literally just a duplicate of resume brought down and then I changed the text to exit the text can be found inside the buttons themselves right here and here okay cool so now what we need to do that pause game script I just attach it right to the player controller right here and then we assign our buttons accordingly so menu is going to be that empty object holding everything that's going to go right there resume is obviously the resume button and quit is going to be the exit button now in each of the buttons what you need to do is you click on them you scroll down to this button tab right here and it's going to be asking for a script so what we need to do is we actually click and drag the fps controller that is holding the pause game script into the little box right here okay Right above it, you'll see runtime. Uh, just leave that as runtime, but inside this bigger box right here, we pretty much it's going to be calling to a script attached to that player controller. So what we need to do is we need to find pause game, and then it, since it's the resume button, we're going to press resume. Same thing with exit. We need to bring in that FPS controller. I haven't set this one up yet, so I can actually show you. So FPS controller goes right here. No function automatically, so we need to go back down to pause game, and since this is exit, we're going to choose exit very simple now going back to the script we reference a button called pause so we actually need to create this as a function in the game that we can use we've done this numerous times throughout the series all we gotta do is edit 
project settings and input manager. You can add as many as you need. I have 30 currently. Scroll down the one that's not being used and just name it pause and then positive button will be escape or it can be P depending which button you want as the button. Now, if we go ahead and play, you'll notice that the pause menu actually was on in the editor, but since we have this start function right here, it'll automatically turn itself off. So that way we don't have to worry about bugs or anything like that. So now pressing escape and escape again, we can go in and out. The resume button works perfectly and exit obviously will work, but we're inside the application so we can't do it. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial, you guys. It was a very simple and short tutorial, but it will be a simple system that we are going to be improving upon later on. I'm trying to just get the basics rolling. And then as we progress into the game dev process, we will be going back, revising these scripts and adding way more to them. As always, my friends, everything is for a download in the description down below. We also have a discord link in there. So if you guys want to join the community, you can do that. And just remember, if you guys found this video entertaining or useful in any sort of way, drop me a like and subscribe, click that notification bell if you're new and leave a comment what you want to see in the next tutorial, or if you have any questions about anything. Until next time, you guys, I will see you soon. This is user one production signing off for now. Peace.